independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here on the central coast of New South Wales, just north of Sydney. I'm ready for the weekend. I don't know about you, but we have Exam City in our house at the moment, and um, I just want exams to be over. Oh. Power Active Gel kills no there we go. We don't need that going. That's the replay. So I can check out all your comments when you when everyone starts coming in and saying hi. So if you are watching on replay or you've just popped in live, please say hi so I know you're here. And don't forget thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Hello, Miss Cheryl. Thank you so much for joining. So I had a confession this week over on my Facebook page. I have one singular stamp set. Hey Bev, um, one singular stamp set that I've had for 18 months that still remains to this very second uninked. Haven't used it, haven't tried to use it. I've put the stamp set together and that's it. And this is this one. The stitchery set. I bought it as a set to challenge myself, to use as detail in the background. You know, I had all these pretty cool ideas. Hey, Corinne. Yeah, I know, Cheryl. I don't, I think this is the first time in my 11 years as a demonstrator that a stamp set has stayed uninked for so long. And um, Stampin' Up! put out a reel um, using this, and I'll show you, I've got the catalogue open, I will show you um, the exact card that they showed the reel on. Hey, Mon! Um, and today, all these stamps, every single one of these stamps in the stamp set is going to be inked and loved and used so don't worry we are going to use them and it's all good but I had to it's a confession and um, another demonstrator friend Vicky and I had the conversation uh, when the annual catalog came out it's like I still haven't used this stamp set and then she went oh I've never used that stamp set I'm the only one of the pair of us that hasn't used a stamp set. So today that changes and you're going to be here. Um, I've got an idea for a simple, simple, colourful background, but still having the stitchery as the star. Oh, hopefully. Oh, I wonder if one of my friends could tell my friend Vicky to come and watch because I'm using the stamp set. So one of my friends here may go tell Vicky what's going on that I'm actually using the stamp set. Um, and I know I've got a word that I want to use out of my use it up bag um, just to keep this as the focus and then just the sentiment as one element on the card but keeping this awesome. Hello, Colleen. How are you? Who have I missed? Hello, Miss Marjean. So, the Stitchery stamp set, I want to say, this is on sale today, only 15% off. So, it's normally $37 and you take 50%, 15% off that. Oh, oh no, I'm not saying that every one of my stamps in my stamp collection have been inked. I'm talking about a stamp set that remains uninked, Corinne. I'm not that good. I'm not that good. I cannot say I have used every single stamp in my um, stamp set collection. But yes, we are having a 15% off all stamp sets in our annual catalogue excluding the hostess sets because they are a little different the host sets um you can earn with your stamp and rewards so they're not purchased the normal way but over a hundred stamps oh you're right in jan yay 
we're keeping you company. Thank you girls for messaging her. Um, over a hundred stamps are on 15% off today in the annual catalogue. So don't miss out. Yes, thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. I did share the link at the start of the video just before I went live. So I just want to tell you how many pages of stamps are, are in this catalogue. So I'm still flicking. 119 pages of stamps in the catalogue. And the catalogue isn't that much bigger so out of 183 pages 119 pages are stamps and we have uh, over 100 stamps 15 percent off till midnight tonight and we're using one that i haven't used today so join me in this journey i also have week three of our September weekly deals that has gone live and of course I have these little pop-up things which are not being helpful so I will quickly verbally go through what is on our September sale so we have the pearlized enamel effects so this is a bottle of pearls that you can use big, little, make a shape, just use a line of pearl. There's, they're very, very versatile. It's um, pearl color, red, and a silvery black. Uh, they call it basic black. I don't call it basic black. Uh, what else do we have? We have the masking paper. I am going to say here right now, I am actually going to use the masking paper on Tuesday because I haven't used it yet and I want to use it so we'll be using the masking paper on Tuesday what else we have the rose gold and white striped ribbon that is five eighths of an inch or 1.6 centimeters so it's nice and wide but it is soft the lovely layers vellum now this is the little vellum so you get printed vellum and you get some plain sheets in this. So this is overlay. We have the perfectly penciled designer series paper. Now I have coloured with that paper. I know I've done a video on that. Hello, Miss Shaz. Um, we have the 12 by 12 layering designs vellum, which is gorgeous. Uh, and we have the faux sea glass shapes. I don't know if I can put my hand on those quickly, but they are on special. And we have the scalloped craft treat boxes. When I turn us around, hey Lisa, I will grab one of those treat boxes. They are really, really cute. So let's go and use this stamp set and stop procrastinating. And then my husband can stop laughing at me because he laughed at me earlier. Um, all the Eden dies are also on sale and the evening evergreen open weave ribbon hello mr linda how are you so we have lots happening today 15 percent off all of our stamp sets in the annual catalog and then those nine um products that are on sale now lisa Oh, just a quick hello. That's okay, Lisa. You can have a quick hello and we will catch up later because I know you'll try and watch a replay. Okay, so let's flip around. Now, I'll ask you a question while I'm doing this. I'm thinking of stamping the stitchery stamp set in multiple colours. And I'm thinking the orientation marks. and I'm thinking of using brights so should I use for this brights regals or subtles 
And this stamp set is on page 48. So it's right here and here. It's wonderful to see you, Delinda, as I sit back down on my chair when I didn't want to. Trying not to step on a pair of scissors. Ah. Right, I can reach this bitty box, which has been squished actually. Bright, Delinda says. Now, this box has gone through the ringer, but this is that box. Blues and purples. Well, there are blues. And purples. I, I want to use a rainbow. And yeah, the box, when you don't squish it, doesn't have that. But they're gorgeous. And the lid just very easily slides off. Okay. So I've shown you that. Now, this is the card that they showed in the reel. And they have heat embossed and pierced this. So the piercing makes the, the stamping look more realistic. So we may even try that trick with the first card. I may get to a second card. I'm not making any promises today. Okay, stitchery, brights. Oh, hang on, what did everyone say? Brights, brights, brights. Monica, blues and purples. Yes, I know, blues and purples. So, I'm going, how many stamps? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, Poppy Parade, Flirty Flamingo. I'm just like grabbing out some colors. Mango Melody, so that's three. I'm not grabbing them all. Granny Apple Green. Mm. Coastal or Bermuda? Coastal. Red or... P mm, I'm thinking... So I'm using more purples for you, Mon. Uh, more blues. I'm using all three blues. But I've omitted Daffodil Delight and Mella Mambo. So then we've just got the, the softer of the two pinks. Hello, Janine. Hello, hello. Oh, don't worry. Lisa, I woke up. I got dressed. I went into the kitchen, finished packing the dishwasher because David had started it. And then I opened the fridge and shopping had come and stuff had just been dumped in the fridge for just for ease's sake so i stood at the fridge and the bench and i was stacking things up and you know reorganizing did a mini wipe down and i got crap on my shirt even before i'd eaten breakfast so yeah who knows what's what's going to yeah I, and I went out this morning, I went and looked after my body and had a massage. So, yes, they are the colours and they are in basically rainbow water because that's how I put them in their colour families. I do put them in rainbow water. So, let's grab a card front and I'm just going to go white so then the colours pop on top of it. Uh, no, that's thick. That's normal. And I'm going to need a scrap piece of paper because six, rather successfully we've kept our mat fairly clean. Now I'm going to need these going to be long enough. No. Trying to work out which block I need to use. That block works diagonally, so let's go with that. And I will need 
just because I know I'll be changed using the same block multiple times. We've got our stamp and scrub. I've got my stamp and mist. This is the side with the raindrops, so that's our wet side. I am just going to be generous. I'm always generous with my mist. Um, I know lots of people would say that you don't need that much. I like having a lot of mist when I'm doing that. So our cleaning is all ready to go. Hello, Carol. How are you? Carol, I love that you use Love Hearts because I then go, oh, someone's commented. It catches my eye. Oh, what did someone say with predictive text? Yeah, uh, this shirt isn't stained, surprisingly. Um, but, yeah. It will come out in the wash. It's only some type of sauce from something. It's probably barbecue sauce, actually. Okay. So, I like this in the red rubber. And these are brand new. So I am going to run my finger along and get rid of any of the manufacturing film because we don't want that. Thank you, Mr. Linda. Actually, I was accidentally matched another jumper that I have. Or you call them sweaters. I call them jumpers. Okay, so we've got our poppy parade and... I think, I'm just checking, we don't have enough length to go a landscape cut. Well, this could be landscape, but we can't stamp landscape. We're going to have to stamp portrait. So just very lightly stamp this through. I'm going to give it a check. That's beautiful. And if it doesn't stamp totally properly that is okay because it's sewing right and sewing isn't perfect that worked out well so clean 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 and this is now wet but clean and I dry 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 on the other side now I've kind of got to think and work out how much space I would like in between all of these. Okay, now the question is, do I keep these open or do I close them? I think I'm going to have to close the ink pads. Otherwise, I will not have room on my desk. Okay. That one. Oh, this one's a little longer, but that's okay because we know we've got length to play with. So just run my hand over this. Oh, hello to Corinne's granddaughter. I hopefully will see my grandson at least for a little bit tomorrow. Okay, so I want some space between it. I don't want them butt up against each other because one that'll make our life longer, which isn't necessarily what we want. Okay, and pop this here. Close. This is Flirty Flamingo. Then we're going into my favourite yellow orange, which is Mango Melody. We like Mango Melody, don't we, Mon? Just a little bit of a... Mon and I have the same taste. We chose a set of colours the same. 
and we just had to laugh at each other when we did it and we went, oh dear. Okay. Nice. Just one close this. I'm envisaging myself putting this. So I need to know who owns this stamp set. Because that is going to be a very interesting question. Uh, of course, I especially love the purple hearts because, you know, purple's my fave. Okay, so we're halfway. So we definitely will be repeating some of these which is totally fine you <laughs> yeah that's a good color heart mom okay i do have to update you on that situation me never <laughs> cheryl <laughs> so you have it and you've never used it Okay, so my next question is, okay, Bev, you've got it and you've used it. Cheryl has it and hasn't used it. Jan and Mon, have you used it? Okay, like that. I really like the, the imperfect sewing. And it doesn't surprise me, Jan, that you actually own this. Because you have a sewing store in your basement. <laughs> Yay, Mon. You're very good at using your things. I think I've just had a creative block, you know, with this one. I just, I went, oh, it's not really my normally my normal style. Not that I feel I have a style, but I don't know. I don't know what I did to myself. I think I thought about it too much and I didn't, yeah, I didn't use it. Oh, I really can tell I haven't used this. I love this one. This is how I sew, not in straight lines. Oh, that's okay. You've used it, Corinne. This stem set, I may only, actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and zoom in. Uh, I might zoom out a titch more. Hold on. I don't know if that's all the way to where I was. It is. Next question, use more than once. Okay, Cheryl, you can lead the uh, questioning. Yes, more than once. Good work, Jan, good work. Or was that a yes to the fact you've got a sewing store in your basement? Okay, and I have just seen something very bad. I have ink on my block, so I'm just going to grab a baby wipe. And of course, because my children have been in my baby wipes container, I'm not going to, I'm not going to whinge because cleaning was happening. And the question was, Mom... Where are the wipes? I went, here they are. So I, I didn't ask what they were used for. I just handed them over because cleaning happened. Possibly, Mon. <laughs> That's a good thing. I can generally go check my blog and I can put in the name of the stamp set and it'll come up how many times I've used it. So, need to see it. <laughs> okay, Cheryl. Well, I'm forcing you to use it, not buy it for once. 
So this is a change up for the books. You're not there going, Ellen, you're making me buy it. You're there going, Ellen's making me use it. And I think that is a much, much, much better prospect than, um, than me forcing you to buy it. For today anyway. I'll try and change that for, for Tuesday's video. How about that? Okay, so we're all oh, we're up to the zigzag and someone changed the tension on this zigzag halfway through. It makes for a very interesting stamp, but I can see all my sewing friends um, cringing at the fact that this is the way it is. Okay, that there, flip over, uh, I want to see the tension a bit, ah that looks good, I like that, flip us open, clean, 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 dry, 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 move this, now we're into your blues and purples, bon, Mon. Well, unpurchased list is quite short, you know. <laughs> well, are you going to be taking advantage of the 15% off sale and um, shortening that unpurchased list, Cheryl? It's a real question. I mean, there are some good things here. Well... What you could say is Stampin' Up! are holding your stamps for you. So they're your stamps and they're in Stampin' Up!'s warehouse and they're just holding them for you. Is that a better way to say it? Okay, that was definitely Bermuda Bay. Pacific Point we're up to. Okay, I do like um, this little, I like the details in these stamps, which is why I'm now kind of kicking myself that I never used it. Now this one doesn't, oh no, it's okay, it's going to stay how it is, but I didn't want this one to go edge to edge because I did want that detail okay. but that's okay it's handmade not hallmark that's better it wasn't quite cleaned properly Okay, and then we're on to our last of the eight stamps, and then we go back to the start. So I technically didn't have to clean anything because we'll still be using the same stamps in the same colours, but I only have three sizes of these blocks, although I could work back in reverse so do I okay so when I use this gorgeous grape do I then go Bermuda Bay Coastal Cabana or do I go back to the poppy oh you've used the fourth one one two three four on the cover of for tiny seashells yes and the sixth one for grass. Ah, yes, I see all those things. Okay, that is very good. <laughs> you wish you were broke, Jen. <laughs> well, it's good. And you do know, like, it's a 15% off sale. But stack on top of that 15%, our demonstrator discount, and um, 
you could be saving 40%. Reverse the order. Okay, Colleen, I will reverse the order. That's easy. You were the first one to comment, so you rule today, Colleen. I won't reverse the order with the stamps, but I will reverse the order in the colours. So we will go back to this um, loopy one. Oh, I was counting the wrong way. You used this one for grass. Ah, see, I was counting up for me, not down. But that's okay. All good. So that can go in there. Back to this one. And just there. Close this. <gasps> No, I did not get a speck of ink on myself, girls. That was so close. Oh, my God. Please tell me I didn't just swear. Because I tell you, I really, really, really wanted to swear. Okay, back to Pacific Point. Oh, my dear word. Okay. Bring this down bop, 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 bop. we are all bopped oh I am going to make it a little different okay now my next question is do I do the little piercing holes So do I go along and pierce and make it look like it is actually stitched? Yes, except for the hostess. Thank you, Mon. And that one's still dirty. Something about that Pacific Point ink. That's okay. Okay. That one's fine. This one here. And we're going back to Bermuda Bay. Had I have thought about it, I could have put them closer together. But I like this as like a sampler. A sampler of colours, a sampler of stitches. Oh, good. Yes. Not quite time for you guys yet. And I happen to be up at midnight because I was watching the procession of Queen Elizabeth's coffin to Westminster Palace. So that's what I was doing at midnight last night. So I was very diligent and got my um, got all my social media stuff done before I went to bed. But I can tell you, I woke up tired this morning. I know, Janine, you're following all the happenings of the Queen. Okay. This time with the zigzag, I'm going to show this end, but over here. So then the ends are in opposite places, so it doesn't look so... Um, uniform. Okay, close the door. And then maybe we'll have Granny after, which works out really well because the sentiment I want to use has a red bubble on it. So that will work really, really nicely. Now, I need to be careful. I just bopped that in the ink. Perfect. So you just see that end thread there. That is cleanish. Kind of want to spray some more here. 
so I want to bring that one back at the at the end just to get it clean so then I know everything is away clean and nice that's why um, people laugh when they see my desk dirty because my desk dirty isn't the same as everyone else's desk dirty because I clean as I go I can't imagine doing it any different it's just what I do I close my ink pads I'll pile things up um, into neat and orderly things I suppose it's just the way my thing works okay oh. right ah didn't mean for that to happen granny apple green now that's perfect so the loops went up oh it ends up being exactly the same color how funny is that and that will end up being I think I think mm, will it end up being my final do I try and squeeze one more in Do I? So answer me if I try and squeeze one more in, which would be the mango. I feel it would have to be like off, and I'm not sure I like that. Because it's not thin like this one. But I feel we need some lightness down here because we've got all the light and brights. Okay, I've talked myself into it, haven't I? Everyone's saying no. Okay, no, too close. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone said it really, really loudly. And with love hearts, which makes it nicer. Right. I'm putting the stamp back. Okay, the stamp's going back and we're not doing any more. Okay, stamp is... Oh, no. I wanted to clean this little rascal. Because this little rascal is not liking the Pacific Point ink. I can always cut it down a smidgen just so I get, I think the option will be cutting it down a smidgen. It's okay, hell no. <laughs> I, yeah, I'll just cut it down a smidgen and we'll be all good. Okay, so we use every stamp in that stamp set yay us monica's been terribly outvoted because she definitely wants the yellow she did the most beautiful one sheet wonder using some gorgeous colors okay so do I leave it as is or do I put the stitching holes with some piecing, with the piecing mat? That is my stamping only piecing mat. If you were my piecing piecing mat, where would you be living? I don't even know if I have a piecing piecing mat anymore. It looks good the way it is. Okay, Corinne, I can always... How are we going for time? 12.40. I could always do a quick second card with less piercing and do it that way. Okay. 
so my use it up bag of tricks and because we've used that poppy parade I want to use this this way okay in my sentiments bag I have this thanks so I have this one which is going to look terrible by itself but now this is real red okay but don't don't stress because the poppy parades far enough away that it's not going to make too much of a bother so layer these two together and I thought that is a really cool sentiment let me get out my little sheet my shapes just fell in the bag luckily they fell in the bag and not on the floor like they did the other day maybe I can pick 90% of them up in one handful mm, that's one lot that's the next lot I know what I'm after I'm after a big villain circle but I think I may have already used it because that isn't going to work that's just ah, this has been pre-coloured so this has been coloured with what I want to say is most likely a pale papaya stamp and blend so that could bring some of that color down here so that's with and I think I've pretty much picked up 95% of all of those shapes I'm thinking without I think it looks fine by itself because we've got the shadow but tell me with or without and I am going to glue together my sentiment while you say all those things Hang on, what's this? First of all, don't blame yourself. Right. Sorry, I'm just reading the comments. I think, I think I know where the piercing mat is. I think it's up in the shed with the old piercing guides we used to have I think that's where it is now this red piece I've made into a sticker this white piece I'm pretty sure is not I don't think it's a sticker I know this red piece is so let's have a play I'm just going to see if I can pick up an edge. I'm pretty sure this piece isn't. No, but this red piece is. Even though I was thinking you're using dimensionals. We'll see. Hello, Pat. Thank you for joining. Oh, with the question was, do I use... The vellum circle or without so do I use this then this then the word so with or without which will then have the white piece on top which we're about to glue you like with mon with okay with it is yes for sure Okay, I swore you guys were all going to say without. 
but you guys call me wrong all the time in the nicest way of course so I'm just using some little dots this is where my dotting comes in handy although I'm sure this is going to slip and slide as I put it on but we've given it a red hot go okay deep breaths I really do need my reverse tweezers but I really truly don't want to use them but I think I have to if I can get the end off Ah, beat you to it, Cheryl. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Remove, remove. Remove. I'm going to go straight back to the top and I'm going to... No, I can't even do it, Cheryl, because that link isn't coming up, Cheryl, for some reason. But I can't grab it right now. Okay, picked it up, flipped it over. Now, it's really great if I wasn't molting so hard that this is where Just, what I try and do is get the first and the last and then I just very carefully because some of these ascenders like kinked <gasps> look at that I don't think I've ever done that so well on a video before oh my S has moved just a titch me pull this back a bit <gasps> oh I'm really happy with that okay so now let's just confirm the width and I'm definitely going to be using a yellow card base because I need to bring that color in so we're liking width but then it takes out your blues and your purples but it does give a shape so I could, I could pop it anywhere. Look, let's just pop this on and we'll see. Because you've all said with, so I've got to follow you. Now, I did use adhesive sheets on this and cut it out. Hence why it's white on the back. And I just need to pop it the edge of this. I love the adhesive sheets but sometimes grabbing this edge is for me because of my hands a bit of a pain. Now if I go really carefully yes all those um those extra loops came out. Okay so this is now completely sticky and I don't want it to stick to the card but we're using the silicon mat because oh that's oh that is way too young for a seven month old to try and walk that's way too early okay so I've put that kind of roughly sort of in the middle so we've got that piece and we can put that wherever we want. But where's the end to this? No, that's not the end to this. Maybe I don't have an end to that. Yes, I do. It's behind there. 
I did lose one of these ends and I found it months later. I only found it the other day in my Stampin' Up! sandwich or um, lunch bag that was under my desk. So it must have popped out at some stage. So I'm going to take probably half a centimetre or a quarter of an inch off here. So you can see the top and the bottom are just more balanced and I'll take a half a centimetre off this and then that will get rid of my dodgy inking up on that side too. And I fixed all my little mistakes in two little strips. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh no, Mon! Did I curse you? Because we were talking about it the other day. Okay. So, we were going for a Mango Melody card base. No, that's just a... Uh, no, no card. I, I am going to try all this colour because whilst the ink colour is fantastic, the cardstock is like super duper bright. Why is that not? Are we too bright doing that? Tones in, it's a happy card. Oh, five teeth. I think Franklin has five teeth. He's eight months. He ain't even cruel. But he hasn't got anyone. It's lost because Ellen took yours. <laughs> that is so true, Cheryl. That is so true. <laughs> I have a bright piece of washi tape wrapped around mine, which makes it easier to find. That is a really good tip, Bev. Really good tip. The more I'm looking at this colour, I'm liking it. And I will um, share with you where these dies are from because at the moment, the name of the die set is totally escaping me. But we have You Are Amazing and Thanks um, in that die set. Let's trim this. Now I have a card base and I have one for future me. Oh my god, Jan. Did they? Yeah, see, Frankie's got a very older sister. And I think that's a bit of a hindrance because he's not really chasing her around. But then he's got the dog and the cat. But the dog and the cat aren't really... Not really going after the dog and the cat either. I just had an idea with flirty flamingos, so just let me trial it. No, that's boring. No, no, no to flirty. Flirty can just stay there as a colour on the card. And let me pop that back. Done. Right. And I'm assuming we might need something bright and fun like some iridescent rhinestones to finish off this card. Maybe. Some iridescent rhinestones. Yeah. No, Frankie, Frankie does things once and then goes, yep, I've done that and doesn't repeat it for a long time. But he had his little toes in the dirt outside with mum. Um, when was that? The other day and oh my God, it was adorable. I'm now having a thought. No, definitely looked better on that. Okay. 
just trying all the things I love how this has a nice wide um, if I can get it going straight it has a, a wider mat than normal because we did cut the cut the edges off a bit okay then this one here I am thinking of hiding some dimensionals behind here just some mini dimensionals maybe even some big ones might fit to just to give it something ah amazing thanks guys thank you Cheryl they are the amazing thanks guys and I will um, I'll grab my set out and I will show you but I think we might just leave it at one card today, guys. I've had fun making this and chatting with you all. And um, I think I think I'll definitely be back with using this again. I'll definitely use it again. It won't just be a one and done. I'll um, I will I will love it a bit more. It's not it's not an intimidating set and I knew it wasn't intimidating it's just I'd got myself in a spot and I couldn't get myself out until today one more here and then I think we're done that's flipped the wrong way So we should be thinking of Owen, he's half, well he's not a quarter of the way through his ancient, his, <coughs> pardon me, ancient history exam, year 11 exams, whoops, that one came off, <laughs> she is, isn't she, Mon, I um, totally agree, she is still your drama queen. All the wedding dress adventures. Okay. Take all these off. Pop this on. Grab the iridescent rhinestones. And I think that will pick up all the colours we've used. And even though we've used lot, uh, like eight of the ten brights, it's not a really, really bright in your face card as such. Because we did, um, we did put it on that white, which does pull back the colours quite a bit. So let's see. No, normal rhinestones are boring. They're boring. They're boring compared to this card. Uh, I will make a fair comparison. Ooh, mm, they're not really the colours, and we didn't use Mella Mambo. They can go back. Pastel. So I've got opal rounds, but I don't think they're going to cut it today. <laughs> Iridescent, rhinestone. Ooh. No. I do love them though, the adhesive back sequins. Or oh, we've got the glossy assortment. What colours are they? Great melon, daffodil, and pool. I didn't use pool. I haven't used any of these, but I'm thinking they will compete with what we've already got down. Oh. These are the faux sea glass that are on our weekly deals at the moment. Faux sea glass shapes. Okay. I think iridescents are winning. Oh, no problems. Go change it. Go change it. Don't be jealous. <laughs> no. No. Laundry. Can't do laundry today. Ah, oh, what a shame. It's raining. Actually, I don't have any laundry to do. I probably do. I can probably change a teenager's sheets. 
but that'd be the only laundry that's currently really outstanding. So I kind of just want probably to pop just a few. I don't want to go overboard. So just popping this off. One in there. See how there was that notch in there between the K and the S? Because there is so much going on with this card, so many colours, just using the iridescent rhinestones will bring or will ask to corral your eye to the thanks. Oh, no problem, Shari. We've had fun. We've been going just on an hour. We've made this card. So we've used a stamp set that I have neglected to use in 18 months. That is no longer the case. I used eight of the ten in colours. And this thanks, and I, this is the um, a Stylish Shapes dies. Too many S's, stitchery. Stylish shape dies. Let me grab my die box and I'll grab out both the die sets that I didn't use but were used. Golden Beauty Stylish Shapes. So that was for our vellum circle. And the vellum circle was coloured with Stampin' Blends. And by the way, guys, just so you know, I don't have a problem with dyes. There's no problems with dyes at all. I love them all. Actually, I have a die set in here that hasn't been used. So maybe on Tuesday, we'll use the die set that hasn't been used and the masking paper. I'm going to show you the set. That I bought because I know it's right at the back. I bought Stitched Whimsy. So how about we use this on Tuesday with the masking paper. There we go. I'm going to put it this way to remind me to use it. Right. So I've got the two dies out now. I can go back on my unit there. So this is the amazing thing. So you get both the word die cut and the bubble. So you've got you are amazing and you've got the thanks. And this bundles, bundles or bundled, this coordinates with the amazing silhouettes. So they were designed to work together. But I think they're out of last catalogue, so they're no longer in a bundle. Oh, really, Mon? Twice. That shows a real love. A real, real love. Thank you for popping um, that link up, Mon, for anyone who wants to purchase these amazing items. So I, I really think this card is about the colour and the background. Despite me covering a fair bit of it up, stylish shapes, amazing thanks, the card, and we have the rhinestones. So that, oh no, I lie, and the blend, and the stamp and blend to colour that. Not that I used it, but I just scribbled along the vellum and you get that really nice hue of colour. Even though it doesn't perfectly match, it does work really, really well. Oh, do you know what? I don't think I've ever done it. I don't think I've ever done it. Oh yes, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I am going to check the comments to see if I missed anything and anyone had any spectacular questions or anything like that. 
I'm not jealous of your washing. Oh, thank you for telling me about my dimensional. I did realise that was there. Okay. Just flicking up through. If you do have any questions, please ask now before I go. And um, I will certainly try my hardest to answer them. But I'm just flicking back. I'm loving how colourful our chat is, girls. It's rainbow, like the card that we did. I love it. Love it, love it. <laughs> okay, I'll try and order something more than once to make me maybe more special or less special. I'm not sure which way. Not sure which way. But thank you so much for joining me. I had a whole lot of fun today. I'm very glad I've used this. This stitchery set, I know uh, Vicky, who didn't come on, and that's okay. Vicky uses this stitchery set quite a lot in her scrapbooking. Um, so it certainly is available, um, and you can use it for so many things. So you never know. I may even use this on Tuesday's video. I may have created a monster. Thank you, Bonnie. I'm glad you like it. I like it too. Simple, but bold and beautiful. So everyone have an amazing weekend. Don't forget to use the shop link if you need any of the 100 stamps that are on 15% off until midnight on the 15th. Um, shop links there we've got our weekly deals and the products we have used today thank you friends yes you're all my friends my crafty friends that live in my computer and my ipad and i love having you here to keep me company and to be my amazing friends and customers so i will see you tuesday 12 noon on facebook and have a great weekend. Bye.